How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your XPDT-108B Mei Hang Tong or whatever other flavor private label name that they have of this printer. I'm going to show you how to set it up with a Mac because believe it or not they advertise this on the Amazon listing that I bought it from that, that it doesn't work with Mac but I got it working perfectly fine with Mac. So hopefully this will help you. If you have a Mac, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're not already a member of this channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the printer. This is the X-Printer XPDT-108B Mayhang Tong, also known as the MF Label Printer. If it's the black Alibaba printer that looks like this with the green buttons and the accents, then this should work for your printer. First things first, you get a power supply. You're gonna wanna plug that in to the wall. You have a three-prong power supply. It is not a proprietary power supply. It was corrected in the comments. Thank you George Brook, Nick, and Marcus. Three-prong DIN I think is what the proper name for it is and it works with Epson printers as well. You gotta make sure that is plugged. The off switch is right here. You're gonna have it in the off position for now. And before you even think about getting it set up, you're gonna have to calibrate it initially and you'd have to calibrate it anytime you were changing different size labels and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Right here we have a lock mechanism for the guides. Uh, they have a little millimeter scale right here and first we're going to calibrate it for this. So we're going to lock it right there. You're gonna feed the labels through. It's gonna go through these guides right here and then you're going to close the printer down. The printer is still off, and this is a very, very important step right here. You're going to calibrate the printer. It is going to let the printer know how big of labels are inside of it right now, so it knows what it has. And this is a step that I missed when I first bought the printer, got frustrated, and I was ready to return it on Amazon. So you hold down this front button, you turn the printer on, and it's gonna start blinking red. As soon as it starts blinking red, you let go. It starts feeding labels, and as it's feeding, it's calibrating. It's seeing where the labels start. It only wasted two labels, so you could tear it off right there and throw them away, or you could just open it up and then rev pull the labels out. Kinda like that. And now, the printer is reading where it starts and it knows that is where a label starts and it knows also that it's about six inches. So if we press the advance button, it'll advance one label, press the advance button again, advances a label. So we're gonna take these out and I'm gonna show you with these labels, these are what you would use for like an Amazon FN SKU, the product SKUs. They're 62 by 29 millimeters. I got these off of Amazon. So the same thing, pull our guides a little bit closer together. So the guides are together. The labels get fed in like that. Pull them through, close the top, printer off. Same thing as before, you're going to hold the front button, turn it on, wait a couple seconds till it blinks red. Now it's in calibration mode and it's going to feed a couple labels. Now it's been calibrated. It'll know that that is just one label where it needs to advance. Anytime changing labels, you need to calibrate it, or if for some reason the calibration gets thrown off, then calibrate it. I'm gonna load these four by sixes back in here and then recalibrate this. Now that your printer is calibrated for four by six labels, we're gonna install the printer and the driver on a Mac in order to get it working. So open up your favorite browser. I'll have a link to this website in the descriptions. You don't have to search for it if you don't want to, but you're gonna type in M-U-N-B-Y-N printer. It brings you to mmunbin.com and we're gonna look at their, oh, here it is right here. This is their printer. We're gonna click on that. We're going to click on download and right here, the Munbin IP ITPP941 driver.zip. You're gonna click on that can't scan it, download it anyways. So we're downloading that driver and it's 300 and something megabytes. So it takes some time to download, but once it downloads, navigate to your downloads folder or open it up through your browser, double click on it. It's gonna unzip the file. You're gonna open up that folder, the ITPP941 folder. Then you're gonna go to Mac and then you're gonna open this label printer driver v1.1.dmg. Double click on that. That's gonna open the DMG. And then we're gonna double click label printer.pkg. 
Can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. You're gonna hit OK. Go down here to System Preferences, hit that little gear, and then go to Security and Privacy. It's gonna say Allow Apps Downloaded Label Printer.pkg was blocked. Open it anyways. Open anyways. And then it's going to run you through the installation of that driver. Continue, hit install. You're gonna have to type in your password and then you're going to install the driver. And when you close it, you don't have to keep it. You can move that to the trash. So that installs the driver, which is going to help us in a second. Now you're going to want, now you're gonna to wanna to turn your printer on, have the labels loaded, plug the USB cord into the back of the printer, plug your USB cord into your Mac. I have to use a little converter because I have the newer Mac. And then you can go up here to the finder or you can go here to the gear system preferences, go to printers and scanners. You're gonna hit the plus sign, ignore all of this. This is all the printers I have installed on this computer. Hit the plus sign and it should come up with your X printer XPDT 108 with a USB connection. You're going to click on that. You're gonna to go to use, select software and you're gonna type in label printer. And then this driver is the one that you just installed. Label printer, one word, space, label printer. You're gonna hit okay and then hit add and you can change the name of the printer if you want. You can just call it X printer, hit add. And then you have the printer installed. So whatever platform you're going to be using, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Poshmark, you're gonna have to go into that platform setting and change the output of the labels to four by six. Usually they're in eight and a half by 11 by default because most people have eight and, a half, eight and a half by 11 printers at their house. So you'll have to go into each platform that you're going to use it and change it to four by six. Otherwise it's not gonna print right and it's not really the printer's fault, it's the formatting of the label's fault. It can be frustrating if you didn't know you have to change the settings. If you don't know how to change the specific settings on your platform, let me know in the comments. I'll try to help you. I do want to make a video how to change those settings in the future. Maybe I'll do one for each platform or maybe I'll do them all combined in one video. I'm not sure yet. But you have to have it formatted like this sample label right here in a 4x6 format. It's in a big sideways 85 by 11 It's not going to print right on your label printer. Now that everything's installed, we're going to open up our sample label. Hit Command P. And you're going to want to change presets to last used settings. That way it saves what you're setting as a setting right now. And every time it comes up with the printer, you won't have to change the settings. Paper size, you're going to make sure it's four by six. Uh, you're going to click preview down to printer features. And then you're going to do printer settings. You're going to want to change your darkness to nine and your print speed to three inches per second. Usually they print out so fast that the images can be light or blurry, but if you turn your darkness up, your print speed down, it'll crisp up the image a lot. And then you're going to hit print. And the way that I have my printer set up is just with the roll behind it. That's not how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to have a roll holder. You're supposed to suspend the roll somehow, or you're supposed to fold the, the labels in a fan folded fashion, not the way that I have them. I'm just trying to show you guys the driver installation. It printed very well, very crisp, very dark. And you can hit Command P again just to see if it saved all your settings and print another test page if you want. And that is how you set up the Mayhang Tong MF label on a Mac. Even though it says in the listing, you're not supposed to be able to, to set it up with a Mac. So, And thank you guys so much for watching the tutorial. I hope that it really helped. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you, if you have any questions about other tutorials you'd like to see, let me know in the comments and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.